Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today we'll be exploring the Winchester Mystery House. I figured, you know, it's Halloween time. And uh, to wrap up a lot of the Halloween themed uploads on this channel, we're gonna do a little ghost hunting at the world famous Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. And uh, they're offering the tours now. I think I can do a self-guided tour through the house. So for the first time on this channel, we're going to go inside the Winchester Mystery House to ghost hunt for a little bit. We'll go in and hopefully be able to walk around and see if the Winchester Mystery House is haunted. Now, luckily, I brought with me this Ghostbusters PKE meter. And it's got to work well because I got it for 20% off at Target. And so we're going to use this device. I mean, if it worked for the Ghostbusters, it'll work for me. We're going to use this to see if there are any ghosts here. Uh, oh, and it comes with a sticker book, so there's that too. So again, this can be very reliable as an instrument for measuring paranormal activity. It comes with this plastic wrap. So I'm going to open this and we're going to test it out. All right, so here it is opened. Again, very scientific. Looks like it'll work. You pull out this little strap a doodle. And uh, there it goes. Testing. So far, the car is not haunted, so that's good. So we're going to use this and see if the Winchester Mystery House is haunted. I really hope that doesn't go off in my pocket. All right, let's go in. It actually also comes with a cool sticker book. So you got, let's see what we have here. The Ecto-1 sticker, Slimer. Too cool for Zool. That's pretty funny. I like that one. Choose your, can't read that with the sun, Destructor. Stay puffed cab with a zombie and ghost going through it. And the classic Ghostbuster logo. Again, hopefully we won't see any ghosts. I can't say I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Because I am. But, you know, I do these brave things for you guys. Okay. We are now inside the Winchester Mystery House area. Inside the gates. Uh, you know, it's so important that I do this PKE test uh, that they just went ahead and they, they're like, you're from John Brandt Vlogs? Come on in and do a spiritual test and see which ghosts are actually out here. I'm kidding. I'm not that important. Um, that shouldn't be of no surprise. Anyway, um, so before we go into the mansion, I'm going to run some tests there with the PKE meter too. Okay, now before we actually go in the Winchester Mystery House, just a quick little history of it. Uh, the house was built by Sarah Winchester, and there's a plaque at the front for the California historic landmark that the Winchester Mystery House is that describes a little bit more about uh, the building itself. So Sarah Winchester was the heiress to the Winchester Rifle Fortune. Her husband and small daughter both died, I believe, of tuberculosis. Um, and when she was out west, or sorry, out east, uh, she apparently consulted a medium who told her to move west and to continue to build a mansion, can build and build and build for the rest of her life uh, to appease all the spirits killed by the Winchester rifle. So she did just that, came out to San Jose, California, bought an eight-room farmhouse and expanded it into the giant uh, labyrinth of a mansion that you see behind me. Uh, so again, there's kind of like dedications to those killed by the Winchester rifle in the garden itself. You can see that deer behind me. Uh, there's a Native American that I'll show in a second uh, statue that she sort of dedicated in honor of that and to again supposedly appease the spirits of those killed by the Winchester rifle. 
uh, we're having, I'm gonna actually go inside the mansion this time for the first time on one of these vlogs. They're kind of strict about no video in there, so I'll take pictures and narrate through those and let you know if the PK eater, PKE meter reads anything in there. Um, so we'll go inside first and then we'll tour these gardens after. So here's the Native American statue I referenced also. Okay, now we're going to actually go inside. They don't allow video, so we'll go through some of the pictures that I'll take. Alright, so once you actually enter inside, uh, you can see these two doors. One showing on the right, one that Sarah Winchester could actually fit under. Um, she was very small. It was four feet something, I believe. And then shortly after that, you enter a room with a carriage that they had here and that just seemed <laughs> creepy on, in and of itself. Uh, and then very quickly you see the staircase that goes to nowhere. And this could have been architecturally just a mistake or it could have been to confuse the spirits. Uh, they don't know exactly why. And then from there you are brought into um, a glass showroom uh, with doors and windows that were never actually used in the house that were just stored and found at the time of Sarah Winchester's death. So it's a very impressive, very expensive set of doors and windows, very detailed. This uh, spiderweb looking one is actually pretty famous as well. And then uh, you're brought into this unfinished uh, hayloft room with a chair with a mirror on it. Didn't capture anything paranormal here, either in person or, or with the PKE meter, uh, but it looks like a room that would definitely be inviting to ghosts. And then one of the bathrooms actually have this uh, spider web design in the windows that was designed by Sarah Winchester. And uh, pretty interesting how the light was hitting it at this time of day too. Again, this was in a very large bathroom with a one shower in the house. And this is Sarah Winchester's favorite bedroom. Uh, it includes a picture of her and her husband, uh, William Wirt Winchester, and the very large replica bed. Um, this is actually the room she passed away in as well. Uh, so it's supposed to be haunted, but the PKE meter wasn't picking up anything. I, that figure over there is just a uh, tour guide, so nothing picked up in this room. And Sarah Winchester was a spiritualist, so she had her very own seance room not featured in every house but here's uh one of the windows that kind of drop into the kitchen below and then here is or are some coat hooks for robes she supposedly wore when conducting the seances again the pke meter didn't pick up anything in this room either look at how low that hook is at the very bottom pretty interesting i was wondering like what actually hung there because it's about two feet of space so that was kind of an interesting oddity in the house as well and this room was supposed to be Sarah Winchester's favorite room to sit in, especially for warmth and to just read. You could see how much sunlight was coming in the room, uh, but nothing picked up on the PKE meter here also. Just a warm room. And another example of the really nice stained glass in the house. And this is the inside view of the door to nowhere with our friend waving out the window. Uh, this actually drops one floor below, but uh, we'll see it from the outside as well. But nothing was picked up from the PKA meter here as well. And this is a very expensive Tiffany stained glass window that, given the architecture of the house, is on the north side of the house. So it never actually got sunlight, and there was also a wall built behind it eventually. So it never actually gets sunlight coming through it. It's a very expensive window. It's, I believe, $1,500 at the time. Uh, just for that one window and so in today's money i don't have the conversion but it would be a lot of money but not quite installed properly or maybe it was intentional and then here is the set of front doors and these you know you could tell they're very expensive very detailed stained glass these were supposedly shut after the san francisco 1906 earthquake never to be opened again because Sarah Winchester thought too much time was being spent on the front of the house and not the back, and rather she thought the spirits thought that. Um, and so she just stopped focusing on the front and focused on the back of the house. And here is a front entrance room. Uh, nothing was picked up here at all. You'd think maybe it would be, but it wasn't. But a pretty detailed 
uh, room with replica era furniture inside that they've included here so pretty detailed but a little bit of a creepy room also and from there you go into the grand ballroom which apparently was never actually used for any form of entertaining that, that they're aware of that Sarah Winchester had. Uh, the stained glass windows you see here, there are sayings from two Shakespeare plays. They were unsure what they actually meant to Sarah Winchester. So one window says, wide unclasp the tables of their thoughts, and the other window says, these same thoughts people this little world. Again, from two Shakespeare plays, they don't quite know the meaning, which is again part of the mystery of the Winchester Mystery House. And they also have the safe that was discovered in the ballroom. Uh, what was inside was only a lock of Sarah Winchester's daughter's hair. Um, so I think this was recently discovered too. I, I could be mistaken, but again, part of the mystery. And then here's another shot of the grand ballroom with the chandelier with 13 lights on it again a significant number for sarah winchester and then the organ that she would play sometimes very late into the night it reminded me of course of the haunted mansion and then this was pretty creepy they just had this girl standing in this attic room which just looked just added to the creepiness and scariness of the house and they had one cabinet in the kitchen you end up in open up into another room midway up the wall and another cabinet open onto a wall again part of the bizarre aspects of the mansion was it there to throw off spirits or just architectural mistakes and sarah winchester never actually used any blueprints for the house she would often draw ideas she had on napkins and give it to her carpenters and have them build from there so could just be a mistake given that and from there, you end up in the Venetian dining room, which towards the end of her life, Sarah Winchester would have dinner, I believe maybe lunch too, but mainly dinner every night in this dining room. And this is where the tour ended, and zero times did my PKE meter go off. So unfortunately, I didn't find any ghosts. Uh, you might have heard or seen something in the pictures. Well, not heard because there's no sound, but you might have seen something in the pictures. So let me know if you did see anything. Uh, the meter didn't pick up anything. All right, so the PKE meter didn't pick up anything inside, but I did take a lot of pictures, and as I narrate those, maybe there'll be a ghostly figure in one of those. Uh, let me know if you see one in the comments below. But um, didn't see anything myself, didn't experience anything weird except for a draft in one area. And then of course they had the kind of creepy things on display that look like they are ghosts, but they put that up themselves. So nothing for me, nothing from the PKE meter, uh, but you know, we'll try again another time, maybe. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and walk through the garden area. I think there was some presence here. I'll go around with the, the meter. Anyway, let's go ahead and go through the garden area now. I'll bring the PKE meter with me there was some suspicious activity, I thought. So go ahead and see if we capture any of that and walk through the garden. They've added narration to the garden tour, so we'll go through that part. Yep, this is already starting out very creepy. Well, that was pretty creepy sounding, but Still nothing on the uh, good old PKE meter there. But maybe I should stop horsing around. Yay or nay? Ugh. Okay. This room should be picking up something. Hmm. That is going off. Okay, there may be ghostly voices over here. This home in front of you here. Do you hear that? The one she built for my family and me. And she passed it's coming away in so clear. Cash for some of us. Now, after her death in uh, 1922, mm -hmm. these grounds were opened to the public as Winchester Park. A oh, very special place. Didn't know that. Folks of San Jose have come and have picnics. Parties. The tour started here in about 
1923. Over the years, time had taken its toll on the house and grounds, but in uh, 1973... This ghost is actually giving a lot of a really good insights. ...began on the mansion and the grounds. A national historical landmark. Our number is 868. On your stroll to the gardens today, you'll see not only the beautifully restored gardens, also, many fine examples of Victorian architecture and many outlying buildings that were all part of a self-sustaining farm. Uh, the guide maps that you receive... They've supposedly heard ghostly footsteps in this tank house, so we'll go look a little bit closer. Hmm, nothing too suspicious in here. I am getting the sense that there's like a ghostly presence near me, but not quite sure why. Okay, there should be something picked up around here. You have this whole cemetery area right below Sarah Winchester's bedroom. And, oh, this is pretty creepy. Oh yeah, this is extra creepy. Okay, let's see if it goes off over here. Hmm. Still not picking up anything strongly, but we'll keep it running. Let's go right along here, too. Hmm. Kind of surprising. I feel like I hear another ghostly voice over here. Those items are removed. Maybe it was the ghosts. I don't know. PKE meter is not going off here, though, despite the ghost talking to us right behind me. Okay, going now towards the front of the house. See if there's activity there. And it's all decked out for Halloween. We'll go up close to see a little bit more of what's been done for Halloween this year. There's another ghostly voice I hear that might tell us a little more about this house. Let's see if we can get the PKE running. Oh, it's going off. Let's listen to what she has to say. I was one of the neighbors to Mrs. Winchester. I never did get to see the inside of the place. The lady pretty much kept to herself. She really did love talking to the children. She used to have ice cream parties for them in one of the gazebos. That sounds and nice. The rumor changed a little bit over the years. Take these gates, for example. Why, they used to be located in the middle of the road. But as the city started to grow, they had to be moved. They named the street after Mrs. Winchester. That's true. It used to be 161 acres to the sustain. Well, anyway, back to the stone pillars. There used to be two beautiful inscriptions on the pillars. One of them was simply read S. L. Winchester, and the other one read. Exactly why. Sometimes people think she built the mansion with the spirits of the Indian shop. 
And it looks like there's another figure at the door to nowhere area just waving right at us. PKE didn't pick up anything, but I see it in broad daylight. Still can't get over how nice these stained glass windows are. I say that every time I come here, but they are very nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Mrs. Winchester's staff, both past and present, we want to thank you for coming today to visit Mrs. Winchester's estate. We hope that you've enjoyed your visit as much as we've enjoyed sharing our experiences. Please come back. See us again soon. Bye for now. Well, that last ghost was actually very friendly. Wishing us well as we leave, which I wish you to. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We did some ghost hunting. Uh, we didn't quite find anything, but you know, we tried. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. And uh, another Halloween themed vlog. This will probably end the Halloween videos for 2020 on this channel. But feel free to subscribe for more vlogs. I'll link to my comedy channel below as well. Thank you for watching. Oh, this is slipping. Happy Halloween. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye for now.